that's a nice full house that we have this evening. Awesome, guys. As always, great to be connecting with you. A very happy Wednesday to every one of you. I trust that you're having a productive week, that you're doing everything in your power to make sure that things are happening in your business and in your life and that you're in a state of progression. And we have got a lot to get through on this call this evening, so I'm going to get straight into it. Um, this is what we call a distributor training. Um, and I know there's some old distributors on the call. There's some new distributors. And so I think we're going to have a little bit for every one of you. And I'll be breaking down the week two, two toolkit. And then we're going to just do a, some, uh, have a practical interview from, from somebody who is very successfully recruiting in this business. Um, and so our purpose of um, this, in July, we have a recruiting focus. Flying in July, we want to increase our impact. And our focus on sponsoring people into our business, um, there's two key reasons. And number one is we want to reach out and make a difference. And we've been speaking about this for the last three months. We believe that in this time of adversity and this time of change, we can really reach out and make a positive difference to other people. And the second reason is we've had a lot of people turn to New Life as a solution over the last uh, two to three months. Our, our sponsoring, our recruiting has gone up, which is exciting. And so now it's our responsibility to make sure that our new distributors have a successful start to the New Life journey. And we know that to grow a business, it's not a, you don't succeed in New Life on your own. It's a team effort. So it's very important that you build a team around you to duplicate your efforts. And so the second reason is we want to help our new distributors start their new life journey and empower you with the skills and activities that is going to help you start building your team. Okay, and so how July is working, every Wednesday night, we unpack a toolkit, a recruiting toolkit, which has a specific recruiting focus for that week. And then on the Monday night, we do an opportunity or a product presentation that is in line with this week's focus with that week's focus okay and as an example uh, last wednesday we focused on people who had been affected by the changes people that were facing adversity and we we trained on skills to reach out to those people uh, and invite them to take a look at near life and then on monday night we did a an opportunity meeting where we heard from two people yolisa and nola who told just the most amazing stories um of, of why they started the near life journey in a time of adversity in their life and how near life has completely changed their future and their lives. So let's get into week two of this toolkit. And this, this week's fo focus is, the topic is get wealthier by helping other people get healthier. Okay, so we're shifting from, from a very opportunity focus of last week to more of a product focus this week. And over the last few months, we've also been speaking about you know, our product a lot. Um, and how we can make a difference with our product. There's being a growing need for, there is a growing need for nutrition. Everybody right now is talking about immunity. Your immunity is your first line of protection. Um, for a long time, people have been talking about anti-aging, okay, and nutrition to assist that. Uh, there is a growing awareness around chronic disease and prevention. And these factors are just some of the factors that are fueling the nutrition supplement market. And you would have heard me say a number of times that 77% of Americans over the age of 18 are taking a supplement. That's a lot of people. In South Africa and Africa right now, that number is sitting at about 48%. And so over the next two to three years, we're going to move from 48% all the way up to 77% and beyond. So there's a massive scope for growth, which is very exciting from a near life distributor point of view. And we want to get more of these people taking near life supplements rather than what is the, the other things that are out there. And why is that important? I just don't think most distributors understand what a big force our company, Near Life, has been in the scientific community when it comes to the science of nutrition. And we have pioneered, we have influenced, and we're still influencing the direction of research and the direction of thinkers in the nutrition supplementation space. And um, we were, let's just run through a couple of Quick fact, some of you would have been on the talk with um, our head of our scientific, scientific advisory board, John Miller, and I've just taken my notes directly from that talk. We were and we still are pioneers in the development of gelatine capsules to ensure effective delivery, delivery of whole food supplements. 
and you look at our capsule and you think it's just a capsule, but there's so much technology that goes into a capsule that protects the oils and the, the whole food nutrients that are in the capsule. And I know um, the um, Cancer SA, they did a study a number of years ago where they came, they studied omega-3s bought off the shelves from supermarkets and pharmacies. And about two thirds of those omega-3s, the oil inside the capsule was rancid, not fit for human consumption. One of the reasons is the capsule wasn't maintaining the integrity of the oil. So we have incredible capsules just to, just as a start. Um, decades, decades ago, when everybody was talking about GMOs, we put our stake in the ground and we said that you know, we don't know what the long-term effects of GMOs are going to be. And so we're going to keep our products GMO free. You know? And we're one of the few companies that can make that claim. And that has stood us in, in very good stead because now we know decades later, GMOs are not things that you want to be putting in your body. Uh, we became the first company to ever deliver a complete protein supplement with all 22 amino acids. Still in South Africa today, you won't find another protein supplement with all 22 amino acids. Not only is our protein supplement complete, but it's also very, very tasty. Um, so our philosophy of based in nature backed by science, uh, we came up with the, what we called the Neoplex formula. And we discovered that nowhere in nature do you see vitamin C existing by itself. Nowhere. There's no food that humans eat where you find vitamin C existing all by itself. Nowhere, absolutely nothing. Every time you find vitamin C in a food, you find it with other related food factors, such as bioflavonoids, such as polyphenols. And so early back in the 60s, this is a long time ago, that, that you know, we came up with the idea, well, how do we, based on our philosophy of based nature backed by science, how do we replicate that? And so um, we were the first company to ever bring a complete vitamin C to market, not only containing ascorbic acid, but also containing everything that naturally is present in an orange other than water. Isn't that incredible? So when you have a vitamin C, whether it's sustained release or all C, you get everything that is in an orange other than the water. And I know a lot of uh, people have turned to our vitamin C uh, over this time. And in, in the month of um, March, we sold seven months worth of vitamin C in one month approximately. And now you've got to remember our products, um, they're not just me two products, off the shelf products. Uh, when we order our products from our, you know, the people that are making them in the States on our scientific advisory board, it takes about four to six months because we place our order and they have to go and harvest those fruits or the vegetables that go into the manufacturing of our product. Okay, so it's a manufacturing process. So yes, we have had challenges with uh, vitamin C in terms of availability, but um, that shit, we, we've flown in vitamin C from various parts of the world to try and tie us over us. But um, for our distributors, um, I want you to know that our, our big shipment of vitamin C is on the way and it's going to be here shortly. But nobody does a vitamin C like we do a vitamin C. And Neil, I've discovered and de developed the chelation of minerals. Okay, now that is, that is basically bonding our minerals, whether that's zinc or, or calcium in the amino acids, which significantly increases absorption. We, we are the ones that discovered that and, and, and formulated that. We're not the only company, company that does it to this day, but, but we the, we're the ones that discovered that science and developed it. Then you take our omega-3. We're the only company on the planet that has all eight omega-3 molecules in each capsule. We test for over 200 contaminants. Right now, right now the, um, the, the nutrition industry needs to be testing for about 96 contaminants. And we're saying, well, hang on, what about the other 104 that you really should be not be putting into your body? We test for over 200 contaminants, things like mercury, lead, stuff that you don't want in you, any of your supplements. And we have a tolerance of zero. So we detect any of those, we get rid of the whole batch. And so nobody does an omega-3 like we do. We can give you the genetic code of every fish we use in our omega-3 because that tells us where that, what that fish has been eating. When we know what that fish has been eating, we know we have a good idea of whereabouts in the ocean that fish has been swimming. By, we only use fish from certain areas of the ocean that have been proven to be the, the least uh, polluted. You know, that is an incredible, nobody does that with their products. 
Uh, and just finally, our carotenoid complex. It's the first and only product of its type in the world. End of story. There was nothing like it way back in 1992 when we developed that product. And still to this day, there is nothing like our carotenoid complex. Nobody else can claim to boost the human immune function by 37% in 20 days, clinic clinically proven, scientifically proven. Okay, so that's our focus is shifting onto product this week and more and more people are taking supplements, but I hope I have given you enough reasons to convince you that people should be taking our supplements over any other supplements out there. Okay, so let's take a little walk through our toolkit. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so I hope I, you can all see that. Um, if any of you have a problem, just message that I think you can all see it. Okay, so you should be able to see the, the toolkit July is about growing your business. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this toolkit. I'm going to hop through it. I want you to pay attention, but I really, after this call, I will be getting this toolkit onto all of our WhatsApp groups and I'll be emailing every one of you this toolkit. Everybody who's logged onto this, this call and has given their email address, I will email you this toolkit tonight. And then our marketing team will be emailing this to all our distributors uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, so make sure that you have logged onto your back office and you've gone into your profile and you have your correct email address on the system. Okay, <clears throat> so the components of, of recruiting. Okay, in this toolkit, now recruiting is dealing with people. So there is no exact science. Okay, so in, in no way are we saying this is exactly what you've got to do. But our goal through this recruiting toolkit is to equip you with the activities and the skills. Okay, you've got to go out and do them and you've got to figure out what works for you. But we are giving you a guideline here of what needs to be done. Okay, and so... Um, you'll find everything you need for your second week of recruiting. Our goal is to empower you with the step-by-step -step activities and tools that will help ensure you have guests on the Monday night opportunity webinar next Monday night. Okay. And so number one, step one is we want you to find at least five to 10 prospects. You're going to have to have people to talk to. And when recruiting always starts with your name list, you would have helped, heard your sponsor or your leader say, Where's your name list? Who's on your name list? You have to have people that you're going to talk to. And then what are you going to talk to people, those people about? We, our, our job is not to go and find people and just talk to them about what we want them to hear. Our job is to find what they need, what they want, and to address that need or that want. Okay, I hope that is making sense. Just give me a second. Okay, good. You're all seeing the toolkit. I just wanted to double check that. And so on this name list, we are looking for people. Okay, we want to reach out to people this week that take supplements. Who do you know that takes supplements? Who do you know that is a healthy eater or intentional eater? Who do you know that lives a healthy, active life? They gym, they run, they, they do sports, they're active. Who do you know who has health goals that they want to achieve? They said they want to detox, or they want to lose some weight, or they want to improve their immunity or maybe they want to increase their energy. Uh, who do you know that has health challenges that they need to overcome? We all know those people. Uh, what athletes do you know that want to improve their, their performance? Uh, who do you know that is passionate about the environment? We're also going to start looking at our home care products. Who do you know, that's, uh, who do you know that would like to remove toxic cleaning products from their home? Who do you know that loves helping other people? Or maybe this is just a great one, who do you know that has a burning desire to live life on their terms and that wants to achieve more out of life? Okay, so I want you tonight to go and find five to 10 people or 20, but at least five to 10 people that fit into that category. Okay, because we're going to teach you how to talk to these people. Step two is we want you to reach out and invite these people. Okay, uh, Neil Life has a perfect solution and we'd love to partner with like-minded people. And the people I've just listed are like-minded people. These are people that we can help. So we want to reach out and invite them to take a closer look at the New Life Nutrition. Okay, and here we've just list, listed some invitation ideas. 
Okay. Um, as an example, hey, Janie, I know you're passionate about feeding your body with great nutrition. Um, I've used, I'm using a product that's significantly increased my energy levels. I think you will love it. If I sent you a short video link that would give you more information, would you take a look? Or hey, Mary, last time we spoke, you mentioned that your energy levels are low and you're constantly feeling tired. I'm using a product that has significantly increased my energy. I think it could help you. If I sent you a short video link that would give you more information, would you take a look? Okay, so these are just examples that you can start formulating in invite. Okay. The important thing, okay, let's just go to the next level, next step. When, you're, when your prospect agrees to watch your video, it's important to establish when they will be able to, to watch your video. So you can, you can schedule your follow-up call. A big mistake I see new distributors making is they invite somebody to watch a video. They say, hey, John, you told me that you wanted to lose some weight. I've got something which could be great for you. If I sent you a short video, would you take a look? John says, yes. I send him the video link and I expect John to come back to me. John never will come back to you. Okay, that is, the, that is a mistake many, many people make. When your prospect agrees to watch a video, if John agrees to watch a video, you need to establish when they're going to be able to do that. Okay, so you might say, hey, great, John. The video is about three minutes long. If I send you the video link now, when will you be able to watch it? And based on his answer, you can schedule a follow-up call. If he says, um, great, I can watch it during lunch break, you can say, okay, well, if you watch your video during your lunch break, can I give you a call around 5 p.m. when you get home from work to get your thoughts? Okay, so schedule that follow-up call. If you don't have a follow-up call scheduled, <clears throat> the chances are your prospect will never watch that video link. <clears throat> okay, now, important note to remember, these invitations are only ideas and suggestions. It's very important for you to bring your own personality and your own relationship with your prospect into the conversation and the invitation. Okay, so we want you to keep it as natural as possible. Now, what do you send a prospect? Okay, and here are just some of the tools available to you to help you share the Near Life opportunity and product. We have <clears throat> a fantastic Near Life, a new business video. And uh, that is the link. Go and watch it, get to know it. If you like it, you can send your prospect that video link. That is a more opportunity-based introduction. If somebody is interested in the product, we have the most amazing Pro Vitality video. It's, it's about three minutes long and it professionally communicates the benefits of Pro Vitality and why Pro Vitality is the most complete product in the world today. If somebody is interested in, in green, green home cleaning products, here we have the most amazing, um, it's about two minutes, two and a half minutes, a video that will professionally talk about our, our home uh, care products. If somebody wants to have more information on the opportunity and how it works, there is a full opportunity meeting. Watch it, go and understand it. You don't want to be sending people links of stuff that you haven't watched and you don't understand. So get to know what tools are available to you, okay? Maybe your team or your sponsor or your leader does an opportunity meeting every week. Hey, that's a great, that's a great um, op opportunity to invite somebody to have a look at, at your product or your business. Or maybe you can present the product yourself or with your sponsor. And you can do that in their home. You can meet at a coffee shop and you can just have a conversation with them. If you want to do it via PowerPoint, hey, in this uh, toolkit, you can go and download the opportunity PowerPoint or the product presentation PowerPoint. All these tools are available in this document. Okay, step three, embrace social media. Okay, and some of you might choose to do this. Some of you will choose not to do that. This is your choice. Uh, we've put a suggested post, which you could put onto your social media profile. And this is just to put yourself out there. And some people might respond and say, hey, I'm interested. Great, those are prospects coming into your business. And the people who do, do respond to your post, be sure to follow up with them and send them the three minute business video or the pro vitality video or a tool based on what they want or what they need, okay? Based on what they want to hear. And, and step four is you need to be following up with them, okay? 
ensure you follow up with your prospects who have agreed to watch your video or attend the presentation. The fortune is in the follow-up. And if you're not going to follow up with people, I suggest you don't even do steps one, two, and three. What the latest data is showing us is people are looking at our product or our opportunity four to six times before they decide to join or buy a product. Okay, that means your follow-up has to be consistent and you need to be following up over and over again, each time educating your prospect just a little bit more and helping them get to the point where they can make a decision. Okay, now here are some follow-up ideas. Ask your prospect if they're able to watch the video or attend the presentation. That's a great first question. Say, hey, John, it's Drew calling. I'm just following up with you to see if you, you got to watch the video. Okay. If John says, no, he didn't watch the video, you don't get angry with John. That's not a problem. Simply reschedule time for John to watch the video again. So, okay, well, John, you've got the video link. Um, when will you have three minutes to watch it? Wait for John to give you an answer. Based on his answer, say, okay, great. You're going to watch it this afternoon. How about I call you this evening to discuss? Okay. Now, if they did watch the, the video, then I want you to ask them a strong question. Okay. A mistake a lot of distributors make is they say, so what did you think? When you ask a prospect, what did you think? For some reason, that prospect, their mind goes into the gutter and they try and find all the negative reasons and they tell you everything they didn't like about the video or why they think the product or the business won't work. So let's flip that over. Let's ask them a positive question. Here's an example. So John, what did you like most? Wait for John's answer. Let John feed back to you. Or maybe you would say to him, hey, which part of the, the video or the presentation was of the most interest to you, John? Stop, stop talking, wait for John to give you his answer. Because the answer that John is going to give you will steer you to the next follow-up step, okay? John might say, hey, this is the most fantastic product I've ever seen or the most fantastic opportunity I've ever seen. I wanna get started. That doesn't happen very often on the first time. Normally, John would say something like, hey, the video spoke about building a business from home. That sounded interesting. Now, this is an indication that John would be, he would like to find out more about your business opportunity. And so you could invite him, the next step would invite him, be, be to invite him to, to your next opportunity meeting or send him to a link that would give him a full business presentation or to sit down with him and explain the business. Uh, maybe John says, hey, I'd like to learn more about your products. You know, I, I've, I've been lacking energy or I'm worried about my, my cholesterol or my blood pressure. Your products might, might help me. That's an indication he needs to learn more about the products and you feed, the next follow-up step is to feed him information that is going to educate him more to make a purchase. I hope this is all making sense, but it should just be one step after the other. Now remember, always schedule a follow-up call with your prospect. Never expect your prospect to follow up with you. Okay, that's something which we will drill home week in, week out. If your prospect has enough information to make a decision, go right ahead and sign them up as a near life distributor or make them a customer. Okay. If they don't have enough information, you just keep this, you just keep this follow up process alive. And we don't follow up to badger people. If you follow up to say, when are you going to purchase, when are you going to join, that's not the follow up we're talking about. That is where people start ignoring you or blocking you on WhatsApp. The follow up we're talking about is you want to fo fo follow up with love and compassion. If John has kids and you might say, hey, John, I know you've got kids. I'm just going to send you a link to our kids nutrition webinar or to our kids nutrition flyer, which I just think is going to be of, of, of huge benefit to you. Hey, John, I know you're passionate about the environment. I'm going to share, send you a quick video that can show you how to play a part in keeping the environment free of toxins. Your follow up with love. What follow up tools are available to you? Okay, this is self explanatory. I'm going to leave this to you. Get to know what follow up tools are available to you. And a good place to start is hop onto your back office and go to um, your resource library and then go and have a look at webinar recordings. That's a good place to start. Or go to YouTube and search for. Um, Neo Life South Africa and go and find the Neo Life South Africa YouTube channel. All of our videos are located on the YouTube channel. Or you could simply go and click this YouTube link in your resource library. 
go and have a good idea of the, the tools that are available to you. Or you can, I highly recommend the Team Near Life app. Everything is available on an app on your phone. The Near, Team Near Life app will cost you 300 Rand a year, but everything is there and you can share it immediately from your phone. If you are a new distributor, you get the Near Life app free for 60 days. Okay, so make sure you capitalize and use that app in your 60 day window. And number five, let them know you care. Follow up with your prospect um, and, and make sure that the next follow up step is in place. And step six, six is stay in touch. Contact your prospect after the webinar to stay in touch and to answer any questions that they may have and help them get started in their new life journey. And just here's a, here's a pro tip. Keep in communication and keep following up with your prospects from the previous week. Okay, so you might have spoken to your five to 10 or even 20 pro prospects last week. Keep that conversation alive. Ensure you keep feeding them with information based on their needs and interests that will help them make a decision to become part of this near life family. We're going to talk about follow up more and more and more because it truly is a fact. The fortune is in the follow up. And just for the team leaders on the call, those directors, the Emerald directors and above, you know, what I recommend you do is get your teams together and put a re recruiting challenge together or a sponsoring challenge together and say, okay, well, team on Thursday, tomorrow, we're going to get our list. Now, every one of us is going to get our name list together, five to 10 people. Go. Okay, on Friday and Saturday, we are going to formulate invites and we're going to invite these people on our name list to have a look at near life, whether it's a video or to a presentation. And do it together, step by step. Because this this recruiting toolkit, it's just a, recru a recruiting toolkit. And unless you unpack it and you start implementing these steps into your business, it's not going to do anything for you. Okay. And I just have this vision. You know, we always talk about increasing our impact. Imagine every one of us on this call, all 600, nearly 700 people on this call right now. Imagine we implement these steps into our business and next week, this call has 1,400 people on because everybody has just gone out and found, found one. We can immediately double our impact through becoming good at sharing the near life product and opportunity. And so that's a vision I have and that's a challenge I'm going to set, set to you. Okay, so I would like to just um, ask our guest speaker, Antoinette, to turn her video on for me, please. There you are. Good evening, Antoinette. How are you? Good evening, Andrew. Very happy to be with everybody. Fantastic. Now, Antoinette is, uh, she's very successful, uh, a, a very successful near life distributor. She's based in the beautiful beach town of uh, Belito, KwaZulu Natal, the North Coast. Um, and I've asked Antoinette to, to hop on to tonight's call because Antoinette, Antoinette is really, really, really good and introducing people to the near life product and opportunity. In fact, in the first six months of this year, she sponsored 12 people personally. That's averaging two people per month. Okay, and that's a great number because two people you can work with. She's also good at helping her new people sponsor their first people. So she really has her recruiting process figured out. But before we get into that, Ant, let's just introduce you and, and get your story. I know you started your near life journey not necessarily to make money or for the business you started from a product perspective tell us more about that yes when i was introduced to near life it was absolutely for the product i needed something that was going to help with the stress levels and the stomach ulcers that i had to deal with because of stress at work and um i remember meeting with rory at the office and um saying to him but but I can also work here. This is a big organization and I could be of value. And he said to me, you don't want to work here. And that was the end of business discussion there. I did join to get the products cheaper because I knew that I would need them long term. But at that stage, if Rory offered me the business, I would have ran away because I had enough stress on my plate not to focus on the business. Then, a couple of months later, he said to me, how long are you still going to do what you're doing? And I knew I, I couldn't do it anymore. It was too stressful. 
And it was then that I realized new life was what I was going to do. God opened the door and he showed me to walk through and I had to do this. But I had no background for this whatsoever. I was a math teacher. I could think about things logically, but I needed a lot of information. I knew the products were good. I knew that if I offered people bread and fish, it would work. Shortly after I decided to do near life full time, I said to Rory, I can sell, but this is different. Here's, here's a different approach here that I have to master if I want to make a success of this business at all. And I think that is when my journey started. Andrew, is this what you want to hear? The questions that you've got. That, 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 um, that is pretty much what I wanted to hear. Um, yeah, I just think that's amazing. You came to New Life desperate because of stomach ulcers and stress. So you were just in survival mode. Our products got you healthy. You know, you fit healthy, you active. But that transpired into something so much more. You know, probably a year ago, not even, you moved into, you know, you had this vision. And I remember you speaking to me and saying, Drew, I have this goal to move to Belito and to buy a home in Belito. That, you know, you, you've just ticked that goal box in the last year because of your near, your near life journey. So from a bottle of tree in hand, it just grew. This journey just progressed. And somebody just put a, a comment in the box saying, you know, I need to develop my confidence. And good, you've recognized it. You know? And the first thing, we, we, you know, our third daily success habit, habit is personal development and is developing the confidence to talk to somebody. That's part of your development process, it's the personal development process. But, and you mentioned that you were great at selling product, but this is something different. You're building a team and recruiting people is different. Why is it different? You know, Andrew, I want to start by point five and six that you mentioned with a toolkit. Number five is care. We live in a time of COVID and in this last week, I realized how scared people out there are really of COVID. Um, we don't have any fear because we know immunity and we know how to fight. So you've got a lot to offer people. In this time of lockdown, a lot of people have not been able to move out of their homes. They're lonely, they're alone. If you reach out and make contact and just be a friend, you're gonna have a follower that, that will listen to what you have to say. Right in the beginning of my journey, um, I was introduced to Tim Sales. He was the most motivational speaker and he has five points that you follow before you just sell something to somebody. Um, the five points were greet, qualify, invite. If you can just remember that, and then we'll get to the others. So never do you try and sell something to somebody. Stand back and get to know that person. You first have to build a relationship. That's what Jerry Brassfield teaches us. This business is built one relationship upon the other. How do you build a relationship? You don't meet somebody and get married tomorrow. This is a long-term relationship that you have with everybody in your team. I've, I've got heart, heart to heart feelings for every person that I make contact with. It is about the heart. So go out there, greet them. What does that mean? Ask questions about them. You've got to get to know who they are. Your questions are geared at getting to to understand their needs. So you ask specific questions. You know, have you got children? Are you at home? Is your husband under stress? Whatever the questions is that, that you need to ask, but you ask questions and they will start opening up to you and sharing. When they start opening up to you and sharing their circumstances with you, you you're already making friends. And from there, you get to know them. So you get to know what their needs are. The second point is qualify. In your asking questions, you're going to identify something that they're going to say, that you can say, I think I can show you something that can make a difference or that can help you with that thing you mentioned now. And the questions that you ask will gear them towards either product or business. And once you've asked them, can, can I share something with you that I think would be of value to you? Then you can invite them. That is a formal invite. 
That was the first thing I learned. You don't do it right there. You make an appointment for a certain time. You dress up, and now if it's Zoom or a phone call, or whatever it is, you have to meet them. Then and then you say, um, I promise to show you something. Um, and then you can present to them. You've got their full attention. They've given you permission and they want to hear what you have to say. So from there, the sign up can start and you can follow up and follow through. But never do you start with a sale. Mm-hmm. Even and, if I know something. Is, yes. And so, so that's, um, I just want to ask a question there. So you, know, you, you have your names, you find out, you build a relationship, you find out what they want and where you can be of value. Once you've established that, you invite them to, you ask them, can you show them something? You invite them, formally invite them to take a look. That's what we, you know, when we talk about inviting in the, the recruiting toolkit, that's what Anthony is referring to there. And you're inviting them to either have an appointment, sit down and have a conversation, or you're inviting them to watch a video tool. But whatever you're doing, if you're having an appointment, you're not throwing the whole kitchen sink at them. You're talking to them specifically to the, the challenge or the goal, you know, what, what, what you invited them to see initially. Or when you send them a video link, you don't send a video link that's going to tell them everything. You send them a link that's going to specifically deal with their need. Correct? Yes, very, it happens very often to me that I send people stuff that they don't watch or they don't follow up on and I eventually just say to them, doesn't matter, let's just chat. Um, you know, and I go back a step and I start from there and I just get to know them further. I greet and qualify again and then I offer something else because everybody doesn't go back and go and have a look at what you've said, but you have to keep the relationship going. You, you have to keep on following up. You've identified a need and you can help them. Yeah, um, yeah. What helps a lot is to turn back to your own circumstances. You know, we always talk about the story that you've got. That's, that's three sentences long. I was under tremendous stress. I had stomach ulcers. I took three and in and it turned my life around. Just quick and easy. But for the person I'm talking to, I have got a story for that person with a testimony of my own that I can turn to. So whatever will work in their circumstances, I've got a story. You you turn that story. You've got to be on your feet with a story like that. And enthusiasm has built my business. Attitude, a positive attitude. You know, those people that has got a problem for every solution, those you don't. Don't, don't, don't put them on the burner. But those that you can help and care about um, with your positive attitude and your enthusiasm. Yeah. Nobody can tell me that these products are not the best on the planet. Nobody can tell me that this marketing plan doesn't work and is not the best out there. So it, it just works. I don't know if it will work for you, but this works. Yeah, yeah. You know, and... Um... I know this was, this was my experience in the beginning. When I became a Neil Life distributor, I was, I don't think there was a more excited Neil Life distributor in this world. Suddenly I had a, a way that I could see where I could take my life from where it was to where I wanted it to be. And I was excited and I expected everybody else to have my same enthusiasm and excitement. And I had my, I drew up my name list as my sponsor told me to do. And I approached every one of those people and I thought it was my job to just tell them that we had the best product in the world, tell them we had the best opportunity in the world. That's what I wanted them to hear. And you know what? All 20 of them told me I was crazy, it wasn't going to work. And suddenly the sponsoring or recruiting process really, in my mind, it became a, a difficult thing. And I'll never forget my father saying to me, Drew, it's like you are taking your bird seed and you got good seed. You know, our near life products are opportunities, good seed, but you're running up to every bird you see and you're not feeding that bird your seed. You are throwing that seed into their face and they just want to get away from you. He said, you've got to make your seed attractive. You've got to find out, are they hungry? You need to hold that seed out in front of them and let the birds come to you. And that's where it shifted for me. And we are in the solutions business. Our job is to solve people's problems. That's what business is all about. We solve people's health challenges or goals. We solve people's 
financial, financial challenges or goals. And when we uncover these goals and these challenges that people are facing and go and present them a solution, that is where recruiting for me is just one of the, the, my favorite things to do in our business because that is where we really can make a difference in other people's lives. But it's a process. And so if sp specifically for the new people on this call, if there's anything that we want you to take away from you is take away from tonight is recruiting is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a skill that needs to be, be developed. Okay. Just like a, somebody who decides to become a teacher, they don't become a teacher overnight. They have to go and study for three or four years before they can make a livable income. Recruiting and sponsoring people into your business is the life breath, is the breath, the lifeblood of your business. It has to happen. If it's not happening, your business is going to die, but it's a skill that you need to develop and have patience. Have patience, give it time, but be persistent. And you know, this recruiting toolkit gives you some great pointers and some great activities, but you're going to have to go and implement those activities. You're going to have to make the, those mistakes. You're going to have to learn. You're going to have to get, pick yourself back, back up. But I think one of the greatest things that you can do is to do, with it, do it with a positive attitude because we are either attracting people or we're repelling people. And we're going to have to constantly get new people to talk to and I really believe as a Neil Life distributor, you can go out there and be a shining beacon of hope because we have something good to offer. And when you're positive, when you are, you know, there's so much negativity that people talk about, when we start focusing on the good things that, good things that are going on, that suddenly becomes magnetic and attractive to other people. They want to get a part of it. So Ant, is there anything else that you'd like to add to this sponsoring and recruiting process? Yes. If, if I sponsor somebody into my team, I want them to stay forever. Mm. I want Neo Life to have meaning for them forever. I do not mind if they only use the products, although they want to do the business or whatever it is, but I want them to understand that they've got something valuable that they will never give up. So I'm willing to walk the road with people that I connect with until they're ready and then sponsor them into the business because then they're going to stick. Once you get the ball rolling, it's the people that you talk to now that join later. You don't push or pressurize anybody into the business because you want to win the 5,000 rand. Now is the time that you turn to those people that you've been working on for a long time. You go back to them. You greet, qualify, and invite them, and you get them to walk the road with you and to join your team. Mm -hmm. Recruit and, them from the heart. And, and one of the biggest things is when, when you sponsor somebody into the business, that is when your, your, your job actually starts. <laughs> Getting them into the business is the easy part. Now, we don't leave them. You know, that's our responsibility is to, if they join because they want better, your better health, our responsibility is to help them achieve better health. If they join because they want to uh, generate an income and build a business, it's our job to take them by the hand and say, hey, let's, say, let's look at your name list. Who do you know? What are their needs? Let's invite them to take a look at a solution to that challenge or the need that they have and walk that process, present the, the business or the product with them, follow up with them. Don't expect them to do this stuff on their own. It's a skill and you're going to have to teach them that skill. So guys, um, a lot of ground tonight. Antoinette, I just want to thank you. Um, for, you know, I love this. She doesn't have to do this. I'm not paying her to do this, but this Neil Life family, we hear speakers every week that share from their heart and they will give, teach you everything they know because we have a heart, you know, because they want to see this Neil Life family grow and succeed. So thank you, Antoinette. Thank you to all of our leaders that just uh, drive our business and for your leadership. Thank you to every one of you as our distributors and an important part of this Neil Life family. We are going to go out there. We're going to make a big difference. And uh, we've got a big job to do. So I just want you to become bold. Get courageous. Step out of your comfort zone. And magnificent, magnificent things are going to happen to you and to your business and within your team. So God bless you all. And good night. Oh, before I forget, on Monday night, we are doing an opportunity meeting. Liz is going to be talking about our product and what makes our product so exceptional. Um, we are going to get a, hopefully a sports ambassador to endorse our product. 
and why they take our product along with a couple of product testimonies. And then we will br briefly share our, our business concept. So it's a very good call or opportunity meeting to get guests onto. So guys, good night to you all. Have a fantastic week and we'll see you on Monday. Get inviting. Good night.